You're watching KPVI News Today. KPVI News Today, news that works for you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And we have Sean with Sean's Smoke and Fire Barbecue with us here today to help us celebrate this day. How's it going, Sean? Good, good. It's been a, been, been a minute since we've had you on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been a busy man over there. All right. So today you have made up some St. Patrick's Day little feast for us. So is this kind of a traditional? Usually we hear about cor uh, corned beef and, and cabbage, cabbage right. for St. Patrick's Day, but we have something a little different going on today. What is this? So this is a version of Bubbles and Squeak and Bangers and Mash. So these are Never heard of it. I know, right? Traditional Irish dishes. Uh, uh, Bubbles and Squeak is kind of like a, an omelet quiche with uh, potatoes, cabbage, uh, bacon, sometimes vegetables in there. And then uh, Bangers and Mash is, of course, like a broad or an awkward type thing with mashed potatoes. So I combined the two. And Ooh, so, yum. you know, since we're a barbecue restaurant, I had to put a little pulled pork in there. So we have the, the Bubbles, which is the bottom part, the pulled pork. It's always usually served with a fried egg and then our, our house-made beer brats. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> so that is quiche underneath the kind brisket, of a quiche, right? yes. And then an egg on top. Who would have thought? Yep, that's traditional Irish, yep. Now, will you be serving this at um, the restaurant today? At yeah, this is one of two specials that we're having today. Um, you know, it's St. Patty's Day, so we want to well, What's the other that. special that you got? Our famous smoked prime rib. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Yeah, that that's looks been a real so big call. delicious. Yeah. So is this something that you could easily make at home if people can't make it into the restaurant? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure, but it's... It's better to come here. Let somebody else do the work Absolutely. for it. Because it is time consuming to make all that. Awesome. Know, so. All right. Yeah. Okay, now my mouth is watering for this dessert I've got right here in front of my face. Tell us a little bit about this and what it is. So this is our house-made uh, chocolate lava cake. Um, it's got vanilla bean ice cream on top, Bailey's Irish cream, and mm. whiskey sauce. Oh my heavens. Yeah. And this is, is this also an Irish dessert or is it just because it's well, got Bailey's Irish? Well, Bailey's and whiskey, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so this, is this something you will also be serving today at the restaurant? Yes, today only until everything sells out. Um, yeah, and we have plenty, so come on in and try it out. Okay, tell us a little bit about how the restaurant's been doing since you've been open. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we've had you on the show since you opened the restaurant. We may have had you once, but yeah. how's it been going? I, every time we go in, it's just packed. Full yeah, of people. it's it's busy. There's a lot of anticipation for it to be warmer out, so the patio's open and. Uh, um, you know, so people can sit outside. There's a few warm days that uh, we had the heaters on and some people sat outside. So we can do about, you know, roughly 80 people inside and out. And so um, Monday, Tuesdays are generally a sl slower days, but the rest of the weeks have been pretty good. And Fridays and Saturdays, of course, being, you know, really busy. So, okay. Yeah. Now we're going to go back to the food again here. <laughs> um, like you said, this is not something people normally would think of when you think of St. Patrick's Day. Right. This is kind of off the traditional path there, right? Right, right. Is there other uh, St. Patrick's Day um, items that you would suggest that people could make or have for St. Patrick's Day? Um, well, other than this, you, the, you heard me say bangers and mash, mash which is a, you know, basically a broad or sausage type thing mm -hmm. with mashed potatoes. Um, the other thing, uh, you, you caught me Do off you ever, guard. okay. Yeah, there, do, there's, the, <laughs> there's the soups that they make, um, and I'm drawn a Do you ever that, do the corned beef and cabbage? Have you, oh, I have. Uh, just because we're, you know, barbecue, I wanted to pull, you know, put some smoked meat into this, and so this seemed like the right, uh, right mix there. Now, are you also doing corned beef and no. cabbage? You're not doing that today. No, no corned beef and no cabbage. Corn no corned beef and cabbage. No, that, that seems to be everybody's go-to, and, and I like to be a little different, so. Okay, and have you served this before? Do you know how popular this is gonna be with your customers? In, in some of the hotels that I've worked at, uh, I did serve the Bubbles and Squeak and the Bangers and Mash, but they're separate because it was a traditional Irish, uh, where this is more my version, see, so. Now that looks like a caramel sauce on there, but I'm sure it's not caramel. What is that sauce? So that is the mustard cue that's uh, one of the six sauces that we offer on the tables. So I figured mm. it's a good idea with pork. Okay, so if you're looking for a place to go eat some 
you know, Irish St. Patrick's Day food today. Go to Sean's Smoke and Fire Barbecue. You'll be making up stuff all day for people, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, sounds good. So good to have you back on the sh uh, show, My Sean. Pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, he's got the green hat on. That's all right. right. <laughs> Keep wearing that green hat so you don't get pinched today. All right. Thanks for coming in, Sean.